Hello, my Aries friends. It's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your Leo full moon reading and what will happen over the next week, what spirit wants you to keep in mind as you move forward. Whoa, too many. Holy cow. You may feel like your energy is all over the place and that you have more choices than you expected at this time. Not sure which way to go, facing some endings and some new beginnings can also be difficult. Dear love, be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. Someone really needs to hear that right now. I wonder if you've had some sort of setback over the last little while and you're needing to... Uh, understand the value of who you are treat all creatures with compassion i think you have that innate empathy within you anyways for the most part bearing fruit libras had this energy as well <clears throat> card number 12 equals a three empress energy manifesting someone could be pregnant too or you're finding out that someone's pregnant. If your life were a tree, what fruit would it bear? Envision the results of the efforts you put into achieving your dreams and desires in partnership with the divine. Can you see the way you think, feel, and believe reflected in the material world? There is always a correlation between what you see, what you expect to see, what you intend consciously, and what you project unconsciously. Everything is intrinsically connected. Magic flows through you from the unseen world into the world you perceive, moving from the realm of non-ordinary reality to ordinary reality. You birth ideas and thoughts into form and bring your most cherished desires to fruition. Not all ideas will bear sweet fruit. Sometimes you will reap a sour and bitter harvest based on your sense of your personal narrative and your assumption about others. You are in a powerful and fertile season of your life when you're particularly good at making things happen with very little effort. Pay close attention to what you're manifesting now. From your career to your personal relationships, your influence is strong at this time. If you don't like what your life is yielding, prune the proverbial tree and get into alignment with what genuinely lights you up. Remember, your birth into the world, that which you pay most attention to, and consistently hold within as your truth. Be clear about what you intend. Can you make this commitment to be clear about what you intend? So, do you intend to be in a state of love? What is it that you intend? Can you be clear about your intentions? Can you, uh, no, some of you don't know your intentions. You're just kind of putting one foot in front of the other, calling it as you see it. There's some sort of real empathy here, I feel, that you have for others, but not so much for yourself. Like, actually feeling how someone may feel, but when it comes to you and what you deserve, I feel like there's some sort of misalignment. There's a, a miss... I, um, hmm, something's amiss. And you may feel that way too. When I truly surrender my desire to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. So surrender those desires to the universe. Let what will be will be. Trust that what comes towards you is absolutely yours. To begin the practice of allowing, I must get out of the way and let spirit give me direction. So sitting in wait, getting out of the way and allowing spirit to move you forward. Hmm. Get out of the way and let spirit give me direction. Trying to make things the way you want them to be. Not allowing spirit to take you on the wings of their cre creative energies. You need to surrender something, your desire to the universe and have faith that whatever you're trying to manifest will come through. I am the loving energy of the universe. Oh yeah, you are, for sure. My Leos, you guys have got this unlock. The whole love thing you've got unlock. My problem and concern is, is that you put so much effort into others and 
there's just not so much effort put into you put into your happiness and sometimes that makes means take make taking steps that may be fearful that means the steps in front of you that you prefer not to take in order to have a more loving world for yourself may be painful or or put you in fear all right let's get a card from the starseed oracle by rebecca campbell There's one right there. Perfect. Star Ancestors. Hidden Secrets. Lost Wisdom. Look a little deeper. Card 102. There was an air sign, I believe, that got this one as well. 102. Page 102. That's the wrong... Oh, man. You guys are trying to manifest something. And... In doing so, it's like you're using the wrong book. You're using the wrong guidance system to manifest it. Are you manifesting out of fear? Are you manifesting something out of anger and frustration? Manifesting something out of the lack of belief that you deserve it, perhaps? That's interesting. Hmm. Star Ancestors, Hidden Secrets, Lost Wisdom, Look a Little Deeper, card number 102. Let's try again. The ancients knew much more than we do about our connection with the stars. Their pyramid, temples, and other places of worship created in precise alignment with the stars exist in all corners of the world. What if the ancients' wisdom is available for you to uncover now? You're being called to think and listen with your ancient heart and soul, to tap into the part of you that remembers and knows. All ancient secrets are whispered forever in your ears. All mystic knowledge, I'm sorry, all mystic knowing blooms in your heart. All potent power pumps through your veins. You're being invited to, <laughs> all potent power pumps through your veins. It's like, well, the card just dropped out of my hand. It's like it's out of your hands to a certain extent. You're being invited to step into your ancient knowingness, to be held by the remembering of the star ancestors, to look a little deeper. If you're feeling stuck, you're being called to do something different, to change your point of view. Creativity happens when we put together two things that don't belong, when we do not do the unexpected. So often a creative solution is right in front of us, but because we think the same thoughts and act the same way, we miss what's in the open. You're here to remember and uncover ancient secrets and transmissions, technology and wisdom that are so needed on the planet right now, to unlock your soul's memories of a time when we lived in harmony on earth and one day will again hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper hmm interesting interesting my leos very interesting you guys are major manifestors anyway just one moment i had to sneeze you you need to take pause here <clears throat> get a postcard from spirit to wrap this reading up dearest you you have a unique purpose and destiny that only you can fulfill but first you need to know that destiny isn't a destination you don't arrive at some special place where poof you're perfect and happy all the time it's about establishing and firming up a commitment to a certain experience whatever form that takes your soul knows what you need to experience your destiny is to be present to all of life's adventures, to discover your talents and full potential through allowing inspiration to lead you and to risk standing apart from the crowd and listen to your soul. You are special as much as you are also paradoxically one with the world, individual yet part of a great whole. Both truths have led you to this moment where we are saying you are on the right track even if your ego self doesn't see that, listen to your soul. Check in with spirit. Keep going. Spirit loves you. 
Life loves you, and we love you. I hope this resonates, and I hope this next week treats you beautifully. Blessings.